Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's session we are going to study the different units of hardness in which the hardness of water can be measured. Now what do we mean by units of hardness? Hardness of water is because of the different quantities and different concentrations of cations, anions or salts which are present in it. And because of that, we will have to measure those in certain units. In today's session, we will see all those units in detail. Units of hardness. The different units of hardness are, the first one is known as PPM, that is parts per million. PPM is one of the most important units and most of the concentrations which are because of the hardness of water are measured in PPM. If I have a million parts of water, out of which 50 parts is Ca plus ions, that means the hardness of the water will be 50 PPM. That is the exact meaning of the term parts per million or PPM. Next, I have milligrams per liter, which is mg liter. We will see that mg liter will also correspond to ppm. That means these both units are very important and both of these units are so similar that they correspond to each other. For example, I will say 15 ppm. So that 15 will also correspond to this. That means I have 15 ppm of hardness of Ca plus ions. That means I have 15 mg per liter hardness of Ca plus ions. Both of these boil down to the same values. Next is grain per imperial gallon, also known as GPG. GPG stands for grain per imperial gallon. And next is Clark's degree. Now this GPG is also known as Clark's degree and it's represented by degree sign with CL. Next is French degree and also represented by a degree sign and French that is FR. But the most commonly used are PPM and mg per liter. Parts per million also known as PPM. One part per million that is PPM is a unit weight of solute per million unit weights of solution. Now when I talk about solution, solution consists of two things, solute and the solvent. Solvent is the main liquid, over here the solvent we have is water and solute over here are the particles which are being mixed in the liquid, over here the solute is all the hardness causing reagents. So over here when I am talking about PPM, the unit weight of solute that is the unit weight of hardness causing reagents per million units of the entire solution. The solution over here is water plus other reagents. That means if I have to find the PPA value of Ca plus ions in a hard water sample, which is hard because of two things, calcium carbide and magnesium chloride, that means the entire solution will have ions of calcium and magnesium. On the numerator, I will only take calcium, that is the solute. But in the denominator, I will take the entire solution. That means I'll take water plus I'll take all other ions of magnesium and all other salts present in it. In dilute solution of density, which is approximately equal to 1, that is 1 ppm, which is also equal to 1 mg per liter. Whenever I am writing any number and I am giving the unit ppm, I can give the same number and give the unit mg per liter. Both of these units correspond to the same numeric values. It is customary to express hardness in terms of equivalence of CaCO3. Now why do we express it in terms of CaCO3? Because the molecular formula of CaCO3 is 100. That means the equivalent weight of CaCO3 will be 100 divided by 2 which is 50. And both of these are easy numbers. Another important reason for CaCO3 being there is CaCO3 forms a precipitate most of the times when we convert hard water into soft water and thus we measure it in terms of CaCO3. Hence all the hardness causing impurities are first converted in terms of their respective weights equivalent to CaCO3 and then the sum total of the same is expressed in the ppm format. Equivalent of CaCO3 for hardness causing substance, the formula is given over here, which is weight of the substance into 50. Now what is 50? 50 is the equivalent weight of CaCO3. So the exact formula will be weight of the substance into equivalent weight of CaCO3. 
since the equivalent weight of CaCO3 is 50, we write it as 50. So it will be weight of the substance into 50 upon the chemical equivalent weight of the substance. Thus parts per million ppm is the parts of calcium carbonate. What is calcium carbonate? CaCO3 equivalent hardness per 10 raised to 6 parts of water. Now from where do we get 10 raised to 6? Because we are talking about million. So that will be 10 raised to 6 parts of water. That is 1 ppm which corresponds to one part of CaCO3 equivalent hardness in 10 raised to 6 parts of water. The second unit we have over here is milligrams per liter which is mg per liter. In this the number of milligrams of CaCO3 equivalent hardness present per liter of water is calculated. Thus hardness of 1 mg per liter is 1 mg of CaCO3 equivalent hardness in 1 liter of water. Now we calculate the ratio of mg to liter, we will get it as 10 raised to 6. 1 liter of water which is equals to 1 kg and 1 kg is nothing but 1000 grams which is equals to 10 raised to 6 milligrams. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This entire thing can be written as 10 raised to 6 milligrams. And that is the reason why in the start I told you that the numeric value of ppm and the numeric value of mg per liter comes the same. Because parts per million work for million which is 10 raised to 6 and mg per liter work on the ratio combinations of mgs to liters which is again 10 raised to 6. So both of them work on the same principles based on calculation. The only unit names are different. So over here 10 raised to 6 mgs correspond to 1 liter of water and that's the reason why we have 10 raised to 6 mg. So it won't be incorrect if we say 1 mg per liter is equals to 1 mg of CaCO3 equivalent 10 raised to 6 mg of water or 1 mg per liter is one part of CaCO3 equivalent per 10 raised to 6 parts of water and this entire thing will boil down to nothing but 1 ppm. Thus 1 mg per liter corresponds to 1 ppm. Hence 1 mg per liter has the same units as parts per million that is ppm. 1 mg per liter is equals to 1 ppm. Let us see the classification of water on basis of the hardness and the amount of it. The hardness is in terms of ppm and we have the type over here. If it is less than 150, that means the hard water is good. Good enough, that means it's as good as soft water. If it's 150 to 350, then it's fair. But if it's 350 or about 350, then the quality of it is bad. So in today's session, we studied about the units of the hardness of water. We studied all the units, but in detail, we studied the two most important units, that is ppm and mg per liter. We also studied how ppm and mg per liter correspond to the same numeric value, but have the different units. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.